Hey everybody, Marilyn Atkinson here. Uh, I'd like to invite you to take a moment or two and think about Milton Erickson. Perhaps he's your mentor like he's been mine. Uh, Milton Erickson is always in the back of my mind, this wonderful, uh, gentle-eyed man he, sitting in his wheelchair, dressed in purple. His eyes would twinkle a lot, and he had the kind of voice that you couldn't not listen to. It was filled with uh, something is coming through here and you better listen. And indeed, we all did. When I was young, he was my mentor. Now, I studied Milton's work for uh, quite a few years in Vancouver, about three, before I finally had a chance to go down to Phoenix to meet him. Now, I'd been in some study groups. We'd been connected to uh, some of the groups in Phoenix. It was an exciting time for me because I was integrating different kinds of work and Milton's work was always coming to the top. I loved his teaching because he put values on top. I loved the way he could assist people to find their heart's desire and really go for what was important in their life. Now picture this moment. Uh, I have my ticket to Phoenix, and I receive news that Milton has just died. But that the conference I'm coming to, uh, where we hope to celebrate his work and him, is still going to go forward. So with a heavy heart, I take the plane to Phoenix, Arizona, and I participate with many people, all sad, much like I am, but really fundamentally expanding Erickson's legacy. And in the back of my mind was one of Milton's strongest adages and requests of people who worked with him. He'd say, you know, uh, you're thinking about a lot of things and pondering them all. I recommend that before you come back to see me again, you go and climb Squaw Peak. Squaw Peak being a very tall uh, mountain for that part of the world, taking at least three and a half to four hours for a healthy person to climb. And uh, a person would generally find it quite a difficult climb. But Milton sent person after person who worked with him to discover what they really wanted by climbing Squaw Peak. And they would come down with new insights, uh, bright ideas, genuine integrations. And his homework worked. So, conference is over. I am going to climb Squaw Peak. In Milton's honor, and also with my own questions, this is the appropriate thing for me to do. And I start out uh, on a beautiful day. The sky is blue. The wind is just nice enough to ruffle your hair. And I'm climbing uh, through the cigarro cactuses and the barrel cactuses and at the bottom anyway and the sage brushes and the funny little small desert bushes and I'm on a long winding path going up up to the place where they have now scattered Milton's ashes the very top of Squaw Peak. And I'm all alone. It's my vigil. And I'm thinking a great deal about what I want to do, who I want to be. And Milton's climb is 
ever opening new ideas. There's nothing like climbing up in your own heart, climbing up in your own dreams and taking Milton with you. And halfway up, I spoke to Milton. I said, Milton, you know, you're so much a part of my life. I'm going to just do what you say. Pretend anything so I can master it. I'm going to put you on my shoulder and let you whisper in my ear and tell me again and again, you can do what you dream. And three quarters of the way up, I was getting a little bit ready for a small break. And I sat down on a rock and I thought of Milton's five principles and really took into my heart. People are okay. They have resources. They have all the resources they need. They do the best they can with what they've got. And I really began to uh, think of how important his words were to me. The decisions they make are the best for that moment. And climbing a little further, I allow myself to also step into the next one. Change is inevitable. And that's positive change. Positive change really allows us to grow. And we decide if it's positive. So I said to Milton in my heart, I'm going to take your five principles and I'm going to grow with them and I'm going to take everything I learn and make it positive. And after another 45 minutes walk or so, I come to the top of Squaw Peak. And from way up here, I can see out hundreds of miles on this bright blue day. I can really imagine the scope of Milton's work and the potential scope that he gave to every one of us. And I began to make promises to myself, promises that I want to carry forward, that I will carry the value that Milton gave forward. I will bring the value that Milton gave to others. I will trust this value and make it real. So everyone, as Erickson celebrates its 40th anniversary this year, I invite you to join me in celebrating Milton Erickson himself and the great value he brought to all of us.